Hello and welcome. Today we'll be taking a look at automatic cobblestone factories using pistons. So first to look at the factory itself, we have a pillar area where our water is going to be falling down directly to ground level and then flowing downward at a diagonal to our collection zone to make sure that all cobblestone blocks reach our collection zone properly. And then here we have the area where we drop our lava. You can drop it down there too, but I prefer to put it up here just for ease of uh, access, I suppose. And then what's going to happen is that lava will flow down, and whenever it reaches this area, it's going to touch our pillar of water here, and then form into cobblestone right in front of this piston. Then this piston's going to push the cobblestone forward between these two other pistons, which will then crush the... Uh, cobblestone into its block form. And then of course to keep the system going constantly we're going to need a loop of course and what I have here is a delay of five maxed out repeaters with the fifth one, fifth one being in the corner here to make sure that uh, it hits dead on because whenever it goes around it's going to need to be straight whenever it goes back in the loop. And then after it goes through this loop, the output is going to come around and activate this first piston which will push the cobblestone block that was just created forward and then come around both sides with the same delay on each side of the three, the third setting and then it will go into these blocks which will then at the same time activate to crush the block. And then over here I have a kickstarter that I use which is just an AND gate and one input that is split up in two bits to uh, activate each side of the AND gate and one of them is delayed by a max and a three setting repeater so that we get a short burst so we're just going to activate the system we got a one repeater size pulse going through comes in activates that and then these so it pushes crushes, gives time for a new cobblestone piece, and then pushes, crushes. So we can throw in our water now to take a look at how that works. See the water flows down, isn't affected by the movement of any of the pistons, flows down, and add a diagonal to make sure all items flow into the corner here. And then to add our lava, put that in, lava flows down, and as soon as it touches the water, creates cobblestone which is pushed and crushed. And it just keeps doing that constantly at a reliable rate. And then the cobblestone flows to our collection area. Sometimes cobblestone will jump up and land on the piston or this barrier that I put here and it's obsidian so that if something goes wrong it won't push past the uh, initial area. But it might fall on this area here so what you might want to do is increase the size of this wall to catch any that pop up and then once it flows down it collects very quickly so we can take a look at how fast it collects just during that time we have 20 20 cobblestone already 22 23 so it's very fast very reliable and uh, sometimes you have to reset the pistons and because they uh, break off if you save and exit uh, early but otherwise that's uh, pretty much it so if you have questions I'll try to answer them see you next time